going to show you how to write an informational bio for your band or solo artist career, which is something that anybody could do, even if you don't write good. I mean, well. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Bobby Borey, musician, author, and professor. An informational bio is a simple, straightforward approach to introducing your career without all that complex Hemingway style writing that a publicist might do for you for several hundred dollars, only to make you sound too sensationalized and over the top for a band that's just starting out. An informational bio is about three paragraphs long and is perfect for your personal website or electronic press kit. Oh, and if you hang around to the very end, I'm also gonna show you how to do the shorter bios for Instagram as well, okay? So you guys ready to do this? I said, are you ready to do this? All right, so here's a shitload of tips about how to write an informational bio for your band or solo artist career. Number one, date form. If you're a band, state the date that you formed. If you're a solo artist, state the date that you started writing music for your debut single or EP. The date tells people about your experience and sets their expectations that they shouldn't expect for you to have a lot going on. However, if you're a band that started five years ago and you still don't have a lot going on, then I'd probably leave the date off. Number two, territory. Date the territory in which you currently reside to give fans and industry people an idea about where you're based. Because hey, they might want to come out and see you perform, right? So if you're from New York, say New York. If you're from Los Angeles, say Los Angeles. But what happens if you were from New York and moved to Los Angeles? Should you say that? Sure. There might be a couple New York industry people that moved to Los Angeles and you know, want to fucking take care of some of their old New Yorker peeps, right? Number three, name. State the name of your band or music artist career. Simple enough, right? But if your name is difficult to pronounce, then put the phonetic spelling immediately after in parentheses. For example, if you're the Swedish techno band with the name <laughs> ah, yikes, how do you say that? Then you should put in parentheses immediately after the phonetic spelling to help people pronounce it. Okay, you guys? Cool. Number four, style. Describe the sound and style of your music as simple as you possibly can. So if you're rap, say rap. If you're pop, say pop. If you're uncertain, then think about the types of radio formats or playlists that you can get on. You might also decide to describe your music by thinking about like bands, bands that you sound the most like. Look, whatever you do, just don't go on with lengthy descriptions about your sound. You know why, you guys? Because you don't want to bore people. They could just hit play and find out for themselves. Number five, members. If you're a solo artist, you don't have to worry about this, but if you're a band, you might want to list out all of your members and the instruments they play. Just keep it simple. For example, you might put Bobby B on drums, Peter B on vocals, and Chris B on turntable. That's it. That's all you need. Number six, story. Next up is your story or narrative, which is extremely important, so be sure to pay extra attention. Mm -hmm. A story or narrative gives your career more meaning in the minds of your fans and industry professionals. So if you're an artist like Jewel, you're just an artist. But if you know her story and the fact that she lived in her van while playing small cafes and eating oranges off the Southern California trees just to survive, now Jewel has more meaning. So what is your true authentic story? And if you don't have one, then maybe you can fabricate something funny. Like you guys are actually from Mars and you came down as Martians to perform for us humans. I don't know, just have a story. Number seven, accomplishments. Now it's time to list all your accomplishments to give people an idea about how much you've done. You can list your Spotify streams, your Instagram fans, or the number of people that come out to your shows when you play live. Just be truthful. If you're a band that plays on Sunset Strip on a Tuesday night at the Viper Room, and then some huge band plays on Sunday night, you didn't open for them, okay? <laughs> but now you might wonder, what if I don't really have any accomplishments? Stay tuned for the next tip. Number eight, what next? Now you wanna go ahead and list what you're currently doing and where you're going. For instance, you might talk about the EP you're currently working on or the tour that you're planning for in Southern California. This stuff is perfect for people that don't have any accomplishments and for people that have accomplishments too because it shows that you're taking the bull by the horns and you are not waiting around for anyone. This is exactly what industry people want to see, you guys. Remember this, DIY or die. Number nine, contact. Now for the last
last step of your bio, you want to include your contact information, which could simply be your email address, or even better, if you have a personal manager, their email address. Just be careful not to leave your personal contact information, you guys, like your address or your phone number, because there could be some seriously creepy people out there. Number 10, conclusion. Now to conclude this piece on informational bios, let's go ahead and show you how it will look when you put all the pieces together. Paragraph one. Born in 2021 in Los Angeles, California, LFD is an alternative rock band in the style of Lincoln Park, Rage Against the Machine, and Evanescence. Members include Bobby B on drums, Peter B on vocals, and Chris B on turntable. Paragraph two. Quitting their jobs and moving into the old Film 1972 Dodge Band that they bought for $1,000 so that they could focus 100% on music. The band played small colleges and clubs around Southern California while eating oranges off the trees. The band now draws around 50 people per show, has been featured on K-Rock's local hero show with Pat Corbin, and has amassed over 20,000 real and engaged Instagram followers. Says Mark Nodarn of Music Connection, this is LA's next big band. Paragraph 3. Currently the band is in the studio recording their next single with producer Steve Albini of Nirvana fame and planning a tour of U.S. Army bases through armedforcesentertainment.com. Contact the band at LFD at gmail.com. Click here to sample their music and or video. So that's it you guys. Now you know how to put together an informational bio that doesn't have all that colorful bells and whistles Hemingway style writing that would look ridiculous for a band like you just starting out. An informational bio is great for your website and EPK so be sure to write your informational bio today. today. Number 11 bonus section. Now for a bonus section let's go ahead and talk about those little tiny bios like the ones that you see on Instagram. On Instagram, you don't have a lot of space. You only have four lines. So you need to be sure to use each line very carefully. Line one. On line one, you want to tell people what you do. So for example, at my Instagram, at Bobby Borg Professor, I simply write, music biz coach, author, professor. It's clear about what I do, but you would be surprised at how many musicians write really elusive stuff like space poet and time traveler. It's like, it's kind of interesting, but like, what the fuck do you do? Line two. On line two, you want to put your value proposition. That basically means what you have to offer to your fan. On my Instagram, I write, helping turn your art into a business. It's clear about what I do, so you should also be clear about what you do as well. Line three. On line three, you want to tell people about what they can expect when they visit your profile. So for example, on my Instagram, I write, music biz and marketing tips weekly. It's clear about what I offer, so you should also be clear about what your viewers can expect. Line four. Line four, you want to have a link. So for example, on my Instagram, I have a link to my YouTube channel because it's a new channel that I'm trying to build up. However, you guys might have what's called a link tree. That's a link to a main page where you can have all of your links to your YouTube, to your TikTok, to your Spotify. There are a number of services that help you do this. You can go to Linktree or you can also go to Linkfire. So that's it, you guys. That's how you write a tiny Instagram bio. Now it's your turn to succeed. Go out there and kick some serious ass. Peace. All right, my brothers and sisters and everybody else in between, I hope you liked that clip. And if you did, please be sure to like it, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because it helps the channel. And hey, be sure to check out these next videos that can help you turn your art into a more successful business. Peace, you guys.